Hello, everybody. Just thought I would quickly come back on and uh, greet you all. Happy Mother's Day. Uh, mothers, everybody, be proud for all the creation, creating the humans, really. And uh, I was just about to go to sleep again. Uh, then I got some notifications. So I just want to thank, again, the new people subscribing. Uh, like, thanks a lot, everybody, for the, the kudos on the, you know, I just thought to share that tree meditation and people like the idea so I'm gonna try to improve on that uh, I'm happy that the sound came through because I hadn't really done that before um, and I'm glad you guys got something out of it and I just wanna just read some shout outs <laughs> you know again to who's here as of a couple of hours ago, Kiara2026 says, Wow, your space is so cool. That was awesome. And, uh, yeah, then I said, yeah, thank you. I was wondering if it was becoming too calm. <laughs> and um, I asked my friends if I should call it the Blue Room, because it's slowly becoming that. Um... So, yeah, this all started during the pandemonium years. Uh, that's code for you know what. And, you know, much love, angelic vibes your way. I put a little pun in there. Tree, tree, tree. So thanks, uh, Kiara. Nice name, 226. And, you know, I don't take any of this for granted. It's... Uh, Still kind of new at doing this. Um, let's see. Uh, somebody said, uh, your playing is sublime. And uh, that was from Let's Silla 213. <laughs> so I just want to say, you know, thanks so much. I'm glad it came through again. I wasn't sure how it was going to come through. Um, but, you know, I wanted to get both things going and have the voice come through. So um, this is my first try recording this live and, you know, seeing just what happens. And, you know, it just felt more natural then playing separately during, and then, you know, adding something on top. I'll see if I can expand this idea further, I said. And um, much love to you. And who else has said something last <laughs> day? Uh, it's cool. Heather McDermott 2171 says... <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I appreciate your being identify. I don't know how to read emoticons. Uh, pigeon, halo, prayer, heart. <laughs> Shlama, shalom, namaste, dear soul. Uh, thanks a lot. That means a lot. As um, I'm just sharing what I think needs to be shared sometimes and that's in response to my meditation uh, clearing video so thanks a lot guys uh, I was very busy today organizing space because we had a leak uh, that's why I'm kind of tired sounding I try not to be tired sounding all the time when I'm doing this. Uh, I want to say a shout out to also David, uh, the Triotica man. <laughs> I hope we can get together for the, you know, uh, 
things at the end of the month. I really appreciate your call. Doing well, taking it slow. Uh, you've given me some really good ideas. I'm thinking I should get an instrument for my for my lungs because I need to practice breathing. Hence, uh, I thought this was a good idea, not just for myself, but oftentimes doing this, I'm not always so great taking a breath in between, so I'm helping myself and hopefully in the process helping others uh, today. And uh, yeah, happy Mother's Day, love. My mom <laughs> saw it today, they had a good gathering, and um, yeah, uh, oh, shout out to Crystal Casey, thanks for enjoying the silliness, um, but then it was just some thought I had that came into my head uh, as I was going shopping, and I thought, I'm, I'm quite creative, uh, and it sometimes gets uh, hysterical, so... Um, yeah. And, uh, yeah, shout out... Oh, shout out to Ron. Just really enjoyed that chat the other day. And shout out to Rob. And, you know, it's heartfelt. See you, uh, you know, going through all the different... Uh, I can say I have gone through some tough love in my time. And who else? Uh, shout out to Will. You know, um, awesome guy. <laughs> I hope that's not too much, you know, to say I think you're you know, a good stand-up guy. May not see each other very much or ever, but uh, I understand, you know, you're a proud dad now, and that's amazing, and I'm very happy for you, my friend. And um, I want to say hi to Zine, you know, um, I was talking to, well, I was just um, messaging about, uh, you know, I just was sitting in the sun, and I was having all these good memories of, uh, good old Burning Man, and then I just messaged everybody who was a uh, burner <laughs> in, that, in that moment, and I, I was just, you know, we create our own reality, so that just kind of stuck in my head, and I thought, what is everybody doing right now? They must be creating their realities too. I'm just going to send them a little something, and... Uh, again, I guess everyone across all the social platforms, you know, I got to edit and move all of these things. Uh, so hi to everybody on the Instagram. Hi to everyone on the Facebook. Hi to everyone on the YouTube. And, you know, I'm pacing myself. I realized maybe I am cut out for this kind of thing. I had so many conversations yesterday. My phone was off the hook, and then when I went to sleep, I was like, wow, I had some amazing conversations today, you know. Uh, much love to Rashid in Seattle. Uh, sounds awesome, man. You know, I hope you looked up all that stuff about the lemons <laughs> and looked up the theme song to Cheers. Um, it's such a great song. Making it in the world today takes everything you've got <laughs> I've, I don't think I can remember all the lyrics something something from all your worries something would help a lot wouldn't you like to get away piano sometimes you wanna go <laughs> Where everybody knows your name And they're always glad you came <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah, and no, I was going to try to remember the lyrics That's why I do instrumental guitar, you know I Then I, I don't have any pressure with lyrics 
You wanna go where people know Troubles are all the same You wanna go where everybody knows your name da -da 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 -dum -dum. <laughs> okay. You can see how old I am by knowing that song. I think I got all the lyrics to that. But again, thanks everybody. Happy Mother's Day. You know, I'm still here in recovery, so it's not like I have all the time in the world, but um, <laughs> I really appreciate people because without people, what would life be, right? And whether I've met you or it's a kind word on, you know, where we have a lot of our time spent now on social media. You just never know, right, if you will meet people eventually, you know? And um, we're all just people, right? And we're all doing our thing. So just really appreciate you guys. And, you know, just remember love is always more than that romantic love. Love is the kindness, you know, that is in everything. Um, actually, it just reminded me that I have this little thing I stuck on my uh, fridge or something, like a little note. Try to find it and read it out to you, actually. Okay, well, that's the thing about being live. That's embarrassing. I <laughs> couldn't find that little note, um, but I I hung it on my on my mirror there so that I could uh, remind myself. But then, uh, looking for the note as planned as I think this should be, I found a different note instead. Something I printed out in. Um, 2004 or 2008. I think I printed it out in 2004 and in 2008. And uh, as you can see, I wrapped it in this nice little gold ribbon to remind me, hey, every once in a while I should check that note. Okay, so... Uh, that's what the... Uh, moment has brought uh not sure if i'm going to read all of this but uh okay i guess it is 2008 i tried to look up the source of this uh but the website was gone um so whoever this was it was something that really is pivotal in um hmm well, let's see. I'll read a paragraph, and if you guys want more of this scroll, I'll perhaps read the whole thing. Uh, but being as I wanted to read something about love and, you know, the meaning beyond that, you know, if you know what the word agape is. And so, you know, I find a lot of trouble and a lot of heartache in our time is, uh, I guess, the love that we always know is a romantic love but beyond that you know there's many kinds of love like the love for your dog the love for your pet cat whatever it may be i'm not going to judge you if you have romantic love with uh <laughs> your dog. but um back to this so it says the end of 2008 marked a pivotal point in the ascension process up until that time we evolved in small and continual steps. Although at times it did not feel like it, but in this way we completed one chapter of our book. Or rather released much of our lives, our old selves, and always moved into another chapter. The end of 2008 marked the completion of an entire book point of critical mass where we are embodying, embodying 
or residing in a space that those who had gone first had been holding. And it was then time for entirely new book or dimensional residency to occur. So, maybe that's why I found this, because, you know, um, when we have troubles in life and things get us down, is that really from the right now? It's usually, you know, well, it's a combination of things coming from past world of what we had experienced, so... Yeah, I guess this was actually about, hmm, do you want me to read the rest of this, people? <laughs> Should go on the Instagram live, go on the Instagram live at the same time that I'm, I'm going to be in a dimension in the dimension as I'm going on YouTube and Instagram live. Yeah, let's do this. Let's have some fun. You know? Let's have fun with technology. Why not? We're already 16 minutes in. How do I go live? I forgot. Hello, Instagram people. Um, I forgot. I forgot how to go live. Because it's been so long. <laughs> okay, okay. There's a button that's called live. And, um, this is trippy. Um, I'll call this Earth Angels. Oh, I put an emoticon in the Got rid of the word angels. Done. Press live. No. We are live now. Hello, everybody who should be sleeping. It's almost 11.11. 11. I am on YouTube being live, but then I got my phone out, and I also <laughs> went on <laughs> um, YouTube to be posted live also. Uh, so this is trans-dimensional. But as I was talking to people in the comments, um, I thought we should all be reading this to everybody. So, okay, I'll just read, I'll just read more of this ascension process stuff. And I meant to read something else, but this came up, and then I didn't plan to go Instagram Live, and so I thought, hey, this kind of makes sense. And then I'll go to sleep. I'll go to sleep at 11.11. .11. Does that make sense? Hello, Maya Caro. I am on YouTube, and I'm on Instagram. This is fun. And talking to everyone in the comments. Let's just wave to her. I am just reading this message that I found. I have uh, this message about ascension, so I thought, since everyone in the YouTube comments were talking to me about the meditation I did, I thought, hey, we can't just share this with one group of people, we've got to share with this with Instagram people, too. So, okay. Sorry, guys, on the YouTube. I had to go to the Instagram as well. Um, okay, so reading this. I'll just continue reading because I read some of the paragraphs before. Okay, YouTube people. Okay, Instagram people. <laughs> Continuing on this angelly message I found that I printed out in 2008 and just kept in my room. Um, I will read the rest of it. This new book, basically a chapter in our life, you know, um, for each new and every rung on the ascension ladder, meaning that everyone moved up into a higher level according to where they had been residing before. The ascension process involves many periods of waiting, which is why, you know, I read this in 2008, 
and I read it again in 2012. And for God's sake, it's 2024. <laughs> That's tripping me out. And I've had this since then, and it's just hanging out in my room, so now I'm sharing it. Um, okay, so we've been waiting till we, the masses, catch up with ourselves, because, you know, we progress, and no one understands what we're doing, what we're saying, and then they do, and then they do. And so, you know, you may be one who has been progressing far and are very tired of waiting. Oh, poor, poor folks. When we are waiting, it can feel like we are trapped, boxed in, or perhaps surrounded by darker and denser energies knocking in our door. But with the advent and the end of 2008, <laughs> um, the wait is now over. I think the message still pertains to now. How about you guys? I think it still does. Um, so those who had gone before have been waiting a very long time indeed. And that's why when I talk to my friends like Misty and our beautiful crone women and our mothers, I say thank you, right? Because you guys have been holding the space here. So where are we all now? Where are they all now? Been holding the space for the masses. Where have the masses gone? Well, we have gone to a very new space of reality, perhaps in becoming Earth angels. We have stretched, moaned, and groaned, complained, and become weary of it until the very end. <laughs> and the very end of this massive first phase has brought us to a new beginning, which is now here, and that's what I'm saying, people. You know, well, not just me. You know, that's why life is awesome. Like, everyone, thank you for the compliments on the room. Uh, but, you know, I just put the love into the room and just slowly became this space. And uh, and uh, I'm glad you appreciate it. It's to, ca to create calm in my life, and I'm glad it's creating some calm in your life. So, anyway, that was it. Um, so, hopefully... You know, this uh, makes sense for you. And thank you, everybody. Should I, do you want me to read the rest of these things? I guess. I guess I should read it for service to the internet because uh, the original website went down and I was trying to find it for you guys so you could have the link. Um, so let's see. These are about Ascension symptoms. So our new symptoms and how we evolved. Here's some questions for you guys. I think it pertains to everybody is open, but have you lost the desire to be a healer? Have you felt in the recent months that the energy you're used to embody is no longer there? Do you wonder? Are you now supposed to connect and wonder how to connect as well? Uh, do you suddenly feel like your life is here and not back home somewhere? And have you given up any desires to save anyone or anything or simply desire to stay put without extending? Have you given up belonging to groups and continually discussing spiritual matters? Have you discontinued meditating, clearing, and intentional actions involving creating moving energy, or consulting divination sources? Have you lost the desire to bring up the energy of the planet, heal it, or the likes of that? And do you no longer have the urge to make anything happen by yourself? Are you tired of being alone where it never bothered you before and now you crave companionship for others? Is your own personal energy more subtle than it used to be? And do you often feel invisible <laughs> when you go out into public? <laughs> I'm just laughing because i kind of been feeling that. And um, are your needs frequently met with ease, with no real effort on your part? Or rather, are you rarely lacking anything? Oh, that sounds good. And have you begun settling oh sorry setting strong boundaries and find that you are not as open to everything and everyone as you used to be have you grown to appreciate the small things and find that you are not interested in material possessions 
getting what you want or having to have things a certain way. Okay, we're almost done here in the list, but I think you may be resonating with this no matter what time it was posted. I haven't read this in a long time, so it's interesting fun for me too. Uh, have you come to realize that everything is not about you and that behaviors of others have nothing to do with you and thus no longer take things personally? Do you put yourself in first regard to your health and happiness? And are you now comfortable in refusing to participate in things that feel very wrong to you? Is it easy for you to close the door on others knowing that you need not be nice and accommodating when interacting with them was not your idea in the first place? So interesting note right so thanks guys on instagram we'll leave it there because it's uh, almost midnight thanks to you guys who were uh, here on the instagrams too um so perhaps that is still um what's the word pertinent to whether that was channeled by somebody in 2008 or 2000 12 or 2024. I find for me, life does get busy when, you know, especially 2012 was an interesting one. I met a lot of my good friends in 2012. And, you know, um, we we're still in the coronal mass ejection until 2000, <laughs> not 2000, till, till uh, May 13. Apparently, so things have been shaken up for you. Uh, that may, may be it. And if you're aware of it, you find you're kind of surfing that wave. So it's kind of interesting, right? So awareness is key. Okay, guys. So that was a lot of fun. We're going to peace out now because we're really way past our bedtime. Yeah, May 13th of this year, there was a... If you go to space weather.com uh my uh caro yeah it's been apparently since the 9th to the 13th uh, some people are actually even um i i was wondering if all of the northern lights are the things influencing that actually so yeah just talking to <laughs> someone live because i'm also live in on youtube this is like interdimensional travel of myself. Two places at the same time. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, so that you may have trouble sleeping, they say. Or a lot of things coming to surface. So. Much love. Um, yeah, I know. Check out, um, if you don't always follow, already know her, um, Pam Gregory. She has a lot of info on that on YouTube. She's an astrologer. She's really cool. All right, May Akaro. Good night, everybody. Good night, uh, words, images, and good night. I think uh, everyone over there, too. I already read your names. <laughs> okay. Much love, everybody. I don't know how to stop this thing. Bye-bye. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot you guys were here too. Bye-bye.